Globally, breast cancer is still the most prevalent cancer amongst women. Here in Ghana, over 4,000 women are diagnosed with breast cancer annually and almost half of them will die with it. Studies have shown that women in Ghana are diagnosed at more advanced stages of the disease and up to 70% of women have advanced stage cancer by the time it is identified. This is because most women, due to their busy schedules, do not pay attention to new changes in their breasts. To create awareness as well as provide a platform for place women in the Techima municipality to know their statuses, the 2023 Joy News Impact Makers Awardee, who doubles as the founder of the Ellen White Sustainable Foundation with support from the Awareness Therapy Foundation, held a breast cancer sensitization and screening exercise for female police officers across the Techima municipality. You know, the police are very important and they are doing so well in Techima, especially our ladies in Techima. Looking at the nature of their work, it's sometimes difficult going to the hospital. And you know, these days, uh, breast, breast cancer is killing a lot of people. Even though we are not in October, where we talk about breast um, cancer awareness and other things, um, I thought it's necessary to come here, screen them, want to appreciate them for the work they do and also to make sure they are all healthy. Even if they are not healthy, it will be very difficult for them to protect us. Evelyn Yeboa is the founder of Awareness Therapy Foundation, a health NGO who are into reproductive health issues. She says with breast cancers established to be the leading cause of death for women across the country, more needs to be done to help keep the situation. Usually, when it comes to breast, vagina, cervix, they are very sensitive areas that women do not usually want to talk about. So when they even get such conditions, it is difficult for them to open up and talk about it. Now, when you look at the statistics in Ghana, let me use the 2022 statistics. Breast cancer is the leading cause of death among women, followed by cervical cancer and then other liver diseases. So... Um, it's like we are talking about it, but we are not doing enough. I feel we are not doing enough because it is something that we should constantly talk about. Evelyn Yeboah was, however, quick to advise women to endeavor towards regularly checking their breasts and report new abnormal signs to the hospitals for early care. One thing I will say is that woman, know thyself, know your body so that when there are any changes, you will be able to speak to the changes and then seek for care. Also, make sure that every month you make conscious effort to do self-breast examination. And if you see any sign that is not, any sign that is abnormal, make sure that you come to the hospital to seek for care. Mrs. Ellen White Upoku further appealed to the general public for support as she seeks to extend the exercise to other security actors across the area. This is not going to end today. Uh, we are going to continue. And I'm praying that um, I'll be able to reach out to the other security personnel in the Tejman municipality and even in Buno East Region. And so we will need support, definitely, whether in kind or in cash, because um, it all comes with cost. So it's prudent we do this from time to time to make sure they are healthy. Anna Sabit, Joy News, Teacher Man.